Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm finished with my business on the south end of the Untersea, so it's time to head back to Fallen London and especially Venderbite to drop off my damn Doom Colonists and finally get them off my ship. Ah, remember the days when I could actually fit stuff in my hold? Glorious days those were. So let's go do that, and along the way I want to take a stop at the Isle of Cats to get some more red honey to take back to London and hopefully recoup the costs that I recoup the costs that I incurred by losing my red honey last time. And I think if I purchase fuel, I think if I fill my hold with as much fuel as I can hold from Adam's Way, I think I'll have enough fuel and supplies to get back to London without having to stop at Con Shadow, because I was worried I'd have to resupply. But I think I can make it to the Isle of Cats and then straight to London. I think I can, if I buy as much fuel as I can hold. So let's go ahead and do that. It's actually reasonably priced at Adam's Way. Yeah, 15 fuel. That'll definitely be enough. The only question is whether I leave my lights on or not. I might or might not. Uh, ooh, oh my god, my tear is 60. Okay, I really should leave my lights on. Yeah, I should be okay. So, let's go straight to the Isle of Cats. Might as well take a stop at Visage along the way, I suppose. It's been so long since I've sent out my Z-Bat. Let's give the thing some exercise. Get a port report. And let's go ashore. Alright, what shall we do? It's check-in, of course. Right, so at this point, what masks have I done? I know I have not done the bat. I know I've done the frog. What about the locust? Yeah, I did do the locust. That's the merchant mask, right? The one that's just obsessed with money. Should I go as the bat? I'm kind of scared. Eh, this goes to bat. Whatever. I'm probably going to get killed. Uh, let's see. I, I don't think this is new, right? Oh, no, this might be new. Moth. <laughs> moth says, or Moon Moth says, My condolences, it says, with polite formality, as it sets the bat mask on your face and ties the worn leather straps around the back of your head. The inside of the mask smells of musk. Oh, this is not going to be good. Let's go to the library. So what would a bat do? Would a bat steal? Hmm. The bat's supposed to be an asshole, right? I don't feel like it would praise the literacy, the literary traditions of Visage. That seems too polite. Let's steal. Hmm. This is more of a locust activity. You go from niche to niche, putting scrolls into your pockets. Moon Moth intervenes. This is a locust activity. Not proper for you at all. It expects you to spy instead. Then it expects you to be taken to the place of execution and hung upside down. This is what happens to bats in Visage. The penalty for misplaying your role is only a little better than the penalty for being a bat. You end up scarred and maskless, back at the dock. <laughs> okay, well I royally screw that one up, huh? Hmm. Okay, I want another go at that. I'm gonna hang around here. Let's let's wait for my something waste me import to come back. I wanna try the bat one more time. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
Oh. Shit, that's right. This is eating up my supplies. I forgot about that. I can't buy more supplies here. Hmm. Hmm. I've already waited so long, I might as well just wait. It's only gonna be like five more seconds, I think. Let's see if I'm right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, oh, shit, I wasn't right. Come on! Meh! Eh! Eh! Oh! Alright, check in. Give me the bat mask. Alright, so I'm supposed to be sneaky. Let's go to the flood court this time. Say how much you like the pool? No. Try to collect coins? No. That's weird. None of these actually seem to fit. Let's just ask about the purpose, I guess. That doesn't do anything. So this is greed. This is praise. That's not spying. I guess I'll say how much I like the pool. I don't... It expects you to ask questions and it expects you to be punished for asking. This is what happens to the bats. Once again, end up scarred and maskless back at the dock. Okay, I... I'm not seeing the options to actually do any of the things I'm supposed to do as a bat. That's weird. All right, I'm getting out of here. I might have enough supplies to get back to London without resupplying anywhere. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully I can come across a crab or something that can satiate my hunger. Replenish my stores. Fucking hell, my terror is so high. Oh, hello. I should reduce my tear. Not my supplies, unfortunately. Go ahead and butcher it. Uh, Unprepossessing mass, I think. I don't think it gives me supplies, but I think it gets rid of my hunger. Let's cut it open. Oh, lamentable relic. <laughs> Found a human skull inside of its stomach. Ew. Nice, reduce my terror by five, it looks like. But now I'm almost certainly going to have to resupply. Yeah, I don't think you can resupply at Isle of Cats. Oh, and if I want two red honeys, I'm going to have to hang around here and wait for my something awaits me in port to come back too, so that's going to eat up even more supplies. That is not good. Yeah, I don't suppose y'all sell supplies? <gasps> you do! Okay, thank God. They're expensive as hell, but I'll take it. Let's get a port report. Alright, how much money do I have? Do I have... I want to have 500 Echo left over so I can bribe the dude in case they search my ship, which they probably will do. So, 600, 1200, that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna leave me with enough if I buy this twice. So let's go ahead and buy it. <laughs> Gain even more suspicion. What if they become like 100 suspicion? Are they just gonna seize my ship? Yeah, it looks like they also will buy a box of sunlight. So that's one of the places where I could have used my box of sunlight that I got from Aestaville. I just need to go check once I go back to see what they actually give me for it. See if it's worth it. Because I could pretty easily get two boxes, I think. Because you gain one wound every time you do it. I, you know what? Actually, no. I don't want to get up to two wounds, because then if I get up to three, I die. Let's, yeah, let's not get on the border. I think I'll only do one box at a time. If I do it at all. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so what did they give me for it? Oh, it doesn't even say. Just high-risk challenge. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I fail it. Do they steal it? Do you just not, not get paid as much for it? I don't know. But I do know I'm going to buy another shipment of red honey. Okay. So the good thing about having two shipments of red honey is that even if they do decide to search my ship and I have to pay them the, I think it was a 500 echo fee, to pay them off, even if I do have to do that, I'm still going to make a profit, because my profit margin on each shipment of red honey is about 400. So if I only had one, you know, I'd have to pay them 500, but I'd only gain 400, so I'd actually be in the red. But if I have two, my profit is going to be 800. So if I have to pay them 500 of that, then I still come out ahead. So, should work out either way. Yeah, uh, I've got enough fuel to get back. I do need more supplies, though. Probably two? Uh, I'm actually about to go through another box. Let's buy one more of that. Buy one more fuel. That'll be fine. Right? Yeah, that'll be fine. Nice, going straight through a fog bank. below. Zailers at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says, his voice a tremble. <laughs> Try to catch it. 73% chance. Hmm. Well, what probably happens if you fail that is you probably gain terror, and I really can't afford to gain terror when I'm already at 64, so I'm just gonna say look away. Yeah, lost one terror. Okay. You know, I have no idea what the heck I'm going to do next once I turn in all my stuff, sell my shipments, and deliver the tomb colonists. I really don't know. Oh, hey. Supplies, please. That actually helped with my terror quite a bit. should help even more. You know what, I'm not even gonna, like, worry about getting up behind it. The thing's gonna die in one hit anyway. Maybe two. Ah, sweet. One fuel. Pretty poor, to be honest, but kind of worried about fuel and supplies at the moment, so makes me feel more confident. Oh god, not one of these. Uh, probably gonna lose the Zailer. Okay, shoot her, that's a safe thing. Try to capture her. 45% chance. Let's try it. Oh, succeeded. But I still lost two crew. Alright, now I have a prisoner, which I believe I can give to Wisdom. Yep, already read that before. I've lost the Gods of the Z Storm's attention.
Yeah, I know you can take the prisoner to Wisdom and just kind of sell them off. I think there's other stuff you can do with them too, though. But I can't remember what. I think you might be able to give them to the Isle of Cats for the Red Cages. Or the, the Red Garden. Have them... Have the bees suck out their memories or whatever. Or the roses? I don't remember how that worked. I just remembered it was disgusting. Get a port report from here. Oh, that's right, you can accept a volunteer. I should probably do that. It's actually cheaper than getting them back at London. Yeah, it's a simple port report. Let's do it. Let's get a volunteer. One of Company Belegus Fellers. Wait, one of Company's Belegus Fellers has negotiated an early release from her contract. It's the Sproutlings, she tells you, her face pleading. I keep picking them out of me porridge, and me hair, and me eyes. Take me away. I'm a good worker. That was a terrible attempt at that accent, but there you go. Hmm? Oh, hey. What's up? Bumper cars! Son of a... You bastard! Quick draw, and they won. Well, <laughs> they they won the quickest shot. They lost the battle, though. I killed them, and they did four damage. Ferkin and Prisoner's Honey. Well, I have a prisoner, and now I have Prisoner's Honey. We're almost back. Guess I'll just use one supply to repair the my my four four hole. There we go. Home sweet home. Yeah, all that combat knocked down my terror quite a bit. Got to knock it down a bunch more by spending some time with my family. Let's hope they don't search my ship, and if they do, let's hope I can use Admiralty's favor. I think somebody said that there's like two different search events that can happen. One of which allows you to use your Admiralty's favor to get out of it, and the other of which doesn't. Which is the one I encountered before, where I couldn't use my favor. But regardless of which one I get, I should be okay. Um, oh, I think I might be okay. I think they would have already... They would have searched me as the first thing, right? Yeah, we're good! Okay, sweet. Alright, tons of stuff to do. Probably not going to remember it all, but let's give the trinkets... 100 Echo. Nice. Let's sell the red honey. There we go, 999. Let's do it again. 999. Yeah, so there's 800 profit right there. Well, technically 798, but whatever. Let's see. I can put my prisoner ashore. They're taking up valuable space in my hold. Indeed. I can sell a prisoner to the orphanage? Hmm. Wait a minute. 
The orphanage lies deep in the lightless labyrinths of the district districts of spite. It accepts guests of all ages. <laughs> what the hell? Why would an orphanage accept guests of all ages? Aren't orphanages meant for kids? And of course the whole lightless labyrinths of the districts of spite don't sound very pleasant. I think handing them over for sentencing might be a, a better fate than whatever the hell the orphanage is. Hmm. Do I keep them? Nah, I'm just gonna hand them over. Oh well, that really is taking the high road. You really don't get much of anything. The gates clang shut. Justice is served, intones a constable. You could wish he makes it sound less like dinner. Nevertheless, you've dealt with the matter honestly. Your crew are a little reassured. Let's sell some of my crap, too. Let's see. I've got bolts of spider silk. I've got the firkin of prisoner's honey. I might actually keep the firkin of prisoner's honey. Maybe. Stygian ivory. Yeah, let's dump it. Need some more room. Alright, sell the ivory. Ah, uh, that's right, I can't sell the romantic literature here because it's not approved. I think I have to sell it at Gator's Morn. Let's keep the frickin' for now, let's sell the bolts of spider silk. Alright, that's that for that. <laughs> that's that for that. So that's a great sentence. Let's spend some time with my family. Actually, no, let's get more crew. Oh, hey, I can release the Scrimshaw Chronicler from my service. Hmm. Well, I'm not using him, and I can't talk to him, so there's really no reason to keep him on board as an officer. He's considering staying in London. I could open a shop, he says. By the docks. There's bone here, too. There's always bone. Be free. A modest reputation. He goes ashore with his fish-skin knapsack, his shark-skin boots, the little wash-leather bag that the bosun gave him to carry his tools. He sets up shop in a shack behind the blind helmsman. Over the months, curiosity brings visitors to see the bone-carving savage from the rotting shell city. His skill is significant. His reputation, more so. He learns to trade on it. When last you see his name, it's on a mahogany hall handbill as the bone chronicler who tells fortunes on stage. Damn. He made a name for himself. Gained a heart, a couple outlandish artifacts. Cool. Okay. Yeah, spend some time with my family. Lost 20 terror, thank god. I'm down to something reasonable. Read the morning papers. Alright, that's good. Let's get another Zailer. There we go, back up to 15 out of 15. So that's all good. Alright, yeah, so it's time to pick up another agent, because my last one didn't do so well at Khan's Glory. Do I have to take them anywhere particular? The Kinate, for instance. Okay, so yeah, just back to the Kinate again. Let's hope this one sticks. I'm just throwing I'm just throwing these these spies just at the Kinate, just throwing them and hoping that they stick. Poor spies. Nothing to do there. I do need to turn on my port reports. Yeah, let's do that. Let's turn on my port reports. Oh yeah, and I also need to turn in my map. Right? Didn't I find a map? Yeah, the Revelatory chart. Oh, 250 echo. Nice. A careful inspection. He scrutinizes the chart, minutely through a lens. He doesn't, you notice, remove the dark spectacles. It passes muster, he remarks. The usual fee applies. So this guy's indoors looking through 
some magnifying device at a map and he doesn't even take off his sunglasses? Weirdo. Let's hope I don't run out of space. Eight more spots. Should be fine. I've always got... Man, I've always got way more port reports than I thought. Holy crap, I actually don't have space. I don't. Hmm. Alright, I, I guess I'll just leave it for now. I don't want to pick up too much stuff. Because I might get stuff back from turning in quests and things like that. So yeah, talk to you. I got the agent. Talk to you. Submitted as much stuff as I want to. Been to London. My ship's repaired. I've got full crew. Nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. Anything to turn into you? Nothing that I need to. Ooh, I've got two extraordinary implications. Let's turn in one. 250 echo. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good to go to Venderbite and turn in my tomb colonists. Should probably buy some supplies. And I'm out of space. Yeah, let's go. Hello there. See if I can be the one to shoot first. Oh. Oh, shit. The campaigner's health is failing. So it's timed. Oh boy. She's developed a rattle in her lungs. Each time she coughs, the skin of her throat lights with an emberish glow. This latest coughing fit brings her to her knees. Shit. Hmm, okay, so it looks like I can use supplies to restore her, just give up on her, or administer the weird, very dubious treatment that I got from Adam's way. Hmm, it's an unlikely collection of treatments, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Hmm. Let's just do that. She isn't pleased, but she isn't stupid either. Very well. Until I judge that I'm well enough to rise from my sickbed. Let us both be honest. I'm much better equipped than you to determine when I'm well enough. Okay. I think I better get on that quest, and I think, if I remember right, I think that quest actually does involve Blemigans, which is related to the Prisoner's Honey that I have on my ship right now, so that might be the thing I do next. Because I believe you take Prisoner's Honey to... Uh, what's the place called? to the Utter Shroom, and I think that's how you get Blemigans. And then, where do I need to take him? To Varkus, I think? It wasn't just Blemigans, it was, it was Blemigans and other stuff, and I don't remember what the other stuff was. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you need Blemigans. Anyway. Damn it! Three supplies. It's actually pretty good. And usually good for such a small boat.
Man, my reward for these tomb colonists better be really good. Because that was really, really arduous to do. It just it took a long time, I had to go over a bunch of different places. And the entire time I barely had any damn room in my hold. And every single one of them survived, too. Every single one. Yeah, full compliment. The last tour operator hails you delightedly. You didn't lose a one. That's never happened before. There is a chorus of surprised protest from the colonists on deck. Oh, shut up, she snaps. You're all here, aren't you? Right. Last installments, please, so I can pay the nice captain. Ooh. Okay, that was worth it. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> the 1500 alone is worth it. But the Judgment's Egg, too. Damn, look at how much money I have. Ooh. One by one, the colonists troop down the gangplank, chattering excitedly. The operator leans close. They're cheery now. Oh, that won't last. Next week they'll be off to the surface, or the Grand Sanatorium. Or they'll give in to the change. But you've done this for them, given them a little window of peace. And me, you've earned a whole pocket full of peace. So here's your share, and something extra. Yeah, I know Judgment's Egg was extremely expensive. I think it cost a, a ton of secrets from Aram when I, I got it a long time ago for some sort of a quest. I don't know if I can sell it anywhere, though. Let's let's actually check. I haven't looked at my chart in a long time, but let's check for eggs. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It cost ten secrets to buy at Aram. And looks like you can sell it for 600 at Polythreme. Yeah, it looks like that's all I've gotten here. Buy for 10 secrets at Aram or sell for 600 Echo at Poly 3. Not bad. Um, I'm probably going to keep it, though. Because if I need another one, you know, on short notice, if a quest pops up where I just suddenly need it, I don't have to go spend 10 secrets to get it. In fact, let me see, does it... Yeah, you know what? It doesn't even take up hold space, so I'm just going to keep it. There's really no reason to sell it for 600. That doesn't seem like a good deal. Where did it go? Oh, there you are. I really don't understand why the Judgment's Egg doesn't look like an egg. It's got the same icon as a crate of human souls. I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, I don't suppose you want another tour? Ooh. What is this? Inspire Wanderlust. Actually, hold on. Let's get a port report first. Did you find the last tour lucrative? Or do you have another use for tomb colonists? Share tales of the wonders you've seen across the Z, and perhaps they'll rouse themselves for another go. Oh my god, do I want to do it again? Honestly, not really. I don't like feeling tied down. And when, you, when I have them on board, I'm absolutely tied down. I really can't do much of anything else. So, it would be worth it, financially. But I just don't feel like doing that right now. And I notice that it says, Did you find it lucrative, or do you have another use for Tomb Colonists? And if I remember right, I think you can take the Tomb Colonists to... Savior's Rocks, or Savior's Rock, whatever it's called. Where the, the mind, the dream spiders are. I think you can just give them to the spiders as, like, an offering. So that's probably one of the reasons you can do this, is to just go straight there and be a complete bastard. And give them up to the spiders. Let's see, I don't suppose I have another color for you, do I? I don't think so. Nah. Okay, well... In that case, the question becomes, what the heck do I do now? I've got tons of money. I have freedom. It's really just a question of what do I want to do? And the answer to that is I have no freaking clue, so I'm going to cut here and I'll be right back when I decide. Okay, there we go. I think I've got a pretty solid plan on where I want to go from here. Let me get back to London before I explain, though. Let me go collect myself there. 
and along the way, I think I'm gonna dump my romantic literature, because it's taking up a hold space, and I can't actually sell it at London, because it's not actually allowed there. And because it's not allowed there, I think it might be something they would search for, and find me if they found it. And it's not even worth that much, honestly. It sells for like 20 or 30 Echo at Gator's Morn, I think. So, I'm just gonna dump it, because I'm sick of it. Just get out of here. I just realized something. I can dump him, can't I? <laughs> I, I? I can just dump him overboard. There's even a little bit of text there of him, like, pleading with you not to do it. Oh my god. That's really grim. Teleporting ship! <gasps> you gonna teleport? It's the magician ship. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Eh, they're too out of the way. Unless they come to me. Honk, honk. Take a stop at Hunter's Keep, I suppose. Don't think anything ever really happens here. I know you can't get a port report. Look at the ruins. Nope, nothing. Might as well turn off my lights, because I'm going to spend time with my family when I get back, which is going to reduce my terror by 20, which is going to get me down to zero no matter whether I have my lights on or not. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boink. I hope you're ready. <gasps> it's the ship again. Actually, that's a different one. The other one said Plucky. This one says Matilda Briggs. I wonder if those are the names of other players' ships. And it just, like, collects the names and uses them randomly in other people's games. That'd be pretty cool. Uh-huh. See, they want to search. And yep, one of the things they search for is roman romantic literature. Thankfully, it's 2,000 leagues under the sea. Okay. So, let's turn in all my port reports this time. Got plenty of room. God damn, I have so many port reports. Do they ever end? There we go. Holy crap. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing I also forgot to do is I do have a wound and I did not sleep the wound off. So let's, well, spend time with my family, of course. But let's also go ahead and sleep. Rest. 100 Echo. It's fine. Alright, got rid of the wound. Probably would have went away for free pretty much at sea, but I don't want to risk it. It's way too dangerous. Um, what else is there to do to prepare? No, I think we're good. Alright, so let me explain my plan. So here's what I want to do. I know that the Brisk campaigner is kind of on her deathbed, so I really need to focus on her quest. And it turns out you actually do the uh, the cure thing just by talking to her, so you don't need to go to any specific place to do this. You just need to have all these items. So I've already got the Solace Fruit, we're good on that. But I need a Muter Salt, Strange Catch, and a Docile Blemigan. Okay, so Muter Salt can be gotten from Wither, right up here. So I'm going to stock up on stuff here, and I'm going to go north to Wither. And then Strange Catch can be gotten from Aram, so I'm just going to go straight east. Over to Aram, get the Strange Catch here. So then that should give me everything except the Docile Blemigan. And then what I'm going to do is head over to the Utter Shroom, 
Because as I mentioned before, I believe if you take a bunch of firkins of prisoner's honey to the Utter's Room, I think they give you Blemigans. I don't know whether they're docile or whether you need to, like, make them docile. <laughs> I don't know whether you need to, like, you know, teach them to go in a litter box, break them in or whatever. I, I don't know how to make them docile, or if they just come docile. But I'm not going to get a docile Blemigan if I don't get a Blemigan in the first place, so what the heck. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to buy a bunch of firkins of red of Prisoner's Honey at London, go north to Wither, get the Muter Salt, go east to Aram, get the Strange Catch, and then from here I'm going to go... Um, I think I'll pretty much just go straight southwest. Probably hit up Aestevel, get some supplies, hit up Khan's Glory and attempt to put my spy in the network there. See if I can get that going. Then keep heading down this way to the Utter Shroom, Get my Blemigans, and we'll go from there. So I'm hoping I can do all of that in the next episode. I think I can. It doesn't seem like too much. Because I don't think I'm going to experience much in the way of new storylines while doing that, so I think I can do it. Yeah, so that's my plan for next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.